Welcome back to the channel everyone. This is the No Man's Land Survival Challenge series I'm doing. Uh, where in this series I'm trying to follow as closely as possible as I can to the series that Chainsaw 100 and Dagwin are doing in their multiplayer survival series on the same map. So I've just started here, I've loaded up all the flowers. We only have two planks, uh, two pallets of planks, sorry. Uh, the sawmill's out of wood now, so I want to get that sorted in this episode. We also have the grass to bale up and wrap for silage from the uh, new bit of ground we bought yes, uh, in the last episode. So we made just over 49, nearly $50,000 there from that lot. I'm also going to get this tractor in for a service. What's that going to cost us? Uh, nearly $10,000. Might as well repair it all. Oh. Yeah, so we've also... So we'll get that done, but I do want to buy another baler today. I want to get a baler wrapper. So I just have to have a look at the options. Ideally I could do something that has a silage additive tank, but I don't think I've got any available in the mod packs. But we'll have a look anyway, it's not essential. And then also we've got some weeds in the sorghum field that we planted in the last episode. So we'll have to treat those and then that field and the wheat field will need fertilised. Now I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the grass. It's saying it's uh, ready to harvest. I uh, don't know if that means that you know it's at full yield. Uh, I think it says 80% on the side that's doesn't need lime and the other bit is saying I think it's about 75% yield uh, it is what it is so maybe if we have chance we'll or have time we can look at maybe doing some more silage but I'll just get into the doits hook up the sprayer here and I'll get these weeds done in the sorghum feel just drop this weight off not sure how much herbicide is in these tanks no well the front one's full it's 1100 and uh, nearly 1600 so nearly 500 in the back but that should be enough so I'll just quickly get this field, get these weeds sprayed in this field, maybe do a time lapse and then we'll look at getting them fertilised. Okay, so that didn't take too long. So I think we'll probably have a small strip somewhere about here. I really can't see very well with the current state that the crop's in. I mean, that was a pretty good guess. Uh, so I'll just knock it down a, a width or two. Uh, is that catching it all? Not quite. Just missing a tiny bit. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's getting it now. So I'm also just having a look at the trees we planted. I'm not sure if they've grown since the last episode. I think they were about 15, was it 15.6 meters, something like that. So I'll just have a quick check on those before I go and refill this sprayer. And then the next job will be to get the fertilizer spreader on it and we'll get these two fields fertilized. So they should then be at 100% yield. Yeah, so 15.7 meters, so they haven't changed state. I think as soon as they, well, I'm not sure what height they'll grow to. I'm going to guess they'll do 25 meters. Uh, but we'll we'll get them we'll get them all cut down, get all the stumps done, and then we could probably join these two fields up. I don't think there's going to be en enough episodes left to regrow another batch of trees I do have another pallet there which we could just I suppose it'd be a waste to not plant those trees so maybe we can find somewhere to put them at some point point. I'll just get this that's the front one refilled I'll just get the rear one done we've got some yeah I think we've got three three bags of fertilizer just in case the spreader isn't full all right so that's the worker away there hopefully it's wide enough to yeah it is okay so i'm just gonna have a quick look in the store at baylor's So I don't have a great selection. So if I want a baler wrapper, I mean, what does this one here, does this have? So this can do up to 180 centimeter bales and it can wrap up to 150, but it doesn't have an additive tank. And then this one, well, this can only make up to 150 bales, uh, 150 centimeter bales. And that also doesn't have any additive tank these are all square balers that's a square baler this one here that only does 125 it's this one baler wrapper that only does 125 centimeter that's a bit but I could have an additive tank with that one Um, I mean that's probably if there's no others that one I can't it's not got a wrapper anyway this one here that's on that's the same only has 125 centimeter and the fast bail I don't know if this is actually a realistic mod uh, but again there's no additive tank so maybe we just go for this one. I know it limits us on the, on the size of bales, so we're going to end up producing more bales, especially when it comes to straw. But getting the bonus from having additive would definitely be advantageous. Where's the number plate? Okay, so I need to adjust that. Yeah, so I think we'll just buy that one. It costs 98500 So we'll get back into the Massey 
We'll go and get the baler we have and get that one sold. And then we'll come down and get started on making these bales. Alright, so I'll just see you up at the store and we'll get this repaired, painted and sold and then come back with a new baler. Okay, so it's worth 42,000. It's going to cost 44 to repair it and six and a half to paint. So we've now got 49,179 back for it. I also need some silage additive. That's a good point. So here's our silage additive. Don't know how much we'll need. Um, so let's just try one. Looks like it'll take an eternity to fill. Okay, so that's put nearly 60 litres in. I don't know if that's enough, but we'll find out. So I'll see you back at the field and we'll get this grass bailed up. Okay, so I'm just looking over there. I don't know what's gone on with the, with the fertiliser. Seems to have stopped. Alright, so we've got that um, set off again. So I'll just make a start on this bailing and I'll either time lapse it, montage it, or I'll just see you at the end. Okay, so we've just about got this finished now. That's been quite a, an epic job. I mean, what we made 65 bales so far. And there's probably enough grass left for maybe another bale, but I'm not that bothered. Um, the baler, it's all right. It does the job. Certainly, I can tell I've got 125 centimetre bales um, that's really painfully slow really and especially with the additive it seems to be filling up a lot faster so uh, it doesn't unload it hasn't wrapped before it's ready to unload but the Massey handled this hill okay which is good to see it slows down a little bit but it's not too bad it's only once you get to the top I suppose the handy thing is the hill makes all the bales line up quite nicely at the bottom there. Uh, maybe I might just hunt around for a little bit more grass to get this last bale out. Uh, but it looks as though the mass is finished. It might have just missed a tiny bit though, so uh, we'll go and have a quick check on that. Maybe I'm not going to have enough grass.
All right, so I only need to find 22 litres. I might be a little bit down here. I don't know if it's going to be quite enough, though. There we go. Perfect. And we've hardly used any silage additive. Uh, we're on 53%. I think we're only on like 55% or something. Right, so next job is get the Deutschvar fertilising the wheat field and then we'll jump in the fence and we'll go and find a, a load of trees and get those dragged into the sawmill, get that back into some production. And the bale wrapper that we've got, we'll obviously be selling it at some point, but just for now, I've got those grass bales there which need wrapped, and there's one round with the rest of our silage uh, that needs wrapped as well, so we'll get that job done before we sell that. Yeah, so it looks as though it's beast, like the tiniest of strips there, but in all honesty, I'm not that fussed. We're not going to make much profit just from that bit. So I'll get the dots going on the wheat field. And then, as I say, we'll pick up the winch and we'll go and get some trees from over the other side of the grass. So we pretty much own this entire bit of forestry. Um, so what I intend to do is just completely strip out all these trees. And then we'll use the rest of those American elm and we'll get them planted in into here well, I'm not even gonna bother stripping the foliage off these just want to get them down and get them into the sawmill as quickly as we can. Don't think I'll even bother with the smaller trees either. Alright, so I'll just get these winched in and then I'll see you when I'm 
dragging them over to the sawmill. Okay, so I think I've got a, a few trees here. Can't really count them all. It's that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly. And the fence pulling it like so easily. We have left a couple behind, I think. But I might just clear that entire forest. Well, of all the big trees anyway. I mean the fence struggling a little bit, but in all honesty, it's not that bad. Alright, so I say we've got absolutely nothing in store, so let's see what this makes. 27,000 litres in one go, that's pretty good. Right, we're going to get another load. I don't think uh, Greta will be very happy with me if she hears about this though. This is now an ex-forest. But we'll replant. Right, so I'll get back to chopping the trees down. Oh, hang on, we've got this one over here. Can I reach it? I couldn't reach it before. Yeah, we can't. So we'll get that one pulled in. I did have to chop down one of these smaller ones as well because a tree got caught on it. A bit like, I think, what's happened here now. Okay, we're going to get some more trees.
Okay, so we've got another lot here now. Um, I had to cut the foliage off these ones because I literally couldn't see where the trees were. And we're going completely the wrong direction. Uh, we're at 26,300. We're now at 53,500. So we'll go back. I think we can get maybe one more trip out of this. And then, as long as the uh, spreader has finished, although I think from where it's parked, it, it's maybe got lost slightly, uh, that would, that'll do us for the day. Actually, maybe don't need to chop any more trees down today. There still seems to be quite a few up here. Okay, so this is the last bit. Yeah, I think we've done uh, quite a lot of logging there. There's only a few trees left, in fact. So I certainly don't think we'll run out of wood in the sawmill anytime soon. So I think for finishing this episode, uh, I'll say I'll check that fertiliser, see if it's done all the field, and if not, we'll just finish that bit off ourselves. The water needs topped up in the greenhouses, and I'll just need to have a quick check on the animal feed, make sure that uh, they've got plenty.
So we're at 53,100. Now we're at 79,800 litres. Yeah, so I think that'll keep us going for, for a little while. So we'll just put this back where we found it. And then we'll stick the fence back in the shed. Yeah, so we're going to have to um, sort out this last bit of spraying, spreading here, sorry. Won't take long. Good, go and refill the spreader as well down at the sawmill. Not sure how much is in each of these. Alright, so that's us out of fertiliser now. Right, so now we'll get in the water tanker in the truck. Uh, it's not quite full. Uh, so... Let's just get it filled up. And while it's doing that, we'll have a quick look at the animals. So our cows have got... Well, they've got enough water. They've got quite a bit of food. Uh, it should last us overnight. And the same goes for the sheep. They've certainly got enough. So we're up to our uh, maximum with sheep. Our chickens are all full as well. They've got plenty of grain. And the cows. So the first lot, the first lot of Holsteins we've got there, getting ready to reproduce. So we should get some more cows soon. So I'll just get these greenhouses topped up. I don't think there's any need to put anything into the animal pens. So our greenhouses, so they've got plenty of water, it's filling up as well. Obviously the sawmill's full. There's plenty of planks in the furniture shop and we've still got wood there. So um, I'd say I'm going to, I might just leave this furniture until the price is high. I think it's quite low at the moment. So now we're not struggling for money for anything we need to buy. We can be a bit more selective when we sell. Obviously we're completely out of all our... Um, flowers 
we've got some wool over at the sheep pen so i might actually go and pick that up before we finish and then we'd also need to refill the silo king but the bread's still ticking away it's that's i noticed the spawn point was full um but it is storing and it looks like it can hold quite a lot of bread inside it So that should be our greenhouses full now. Yeah, and this one. Pretty much the same. Although I could just, might as well just stick these last 3,000 litres in. So I think that's all for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, so we'll get all those bales picked up. Uh, hopefully they're they'll be ready to be sold fairly soon so we'll get that job done and then we'll make a start on getting it marked out and getting it ploughed ready to put our first crop in which I think we'll probably go for something like soybeans I feel like that I want to make as much money as possible off off the crop so um, Yeah, I think a big crop of, of soybeans should bring us in quite a bit of money. But that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you could give the video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next episode. So take care. Bye bye for now.